information on a major shakeup in the Alabama GOP Senate race. Former President Donald Trump rescinded his endorsement of Representative Mo Brooks, a major blow to the Huntsville congressman's campaign. Tonight, we're hearing reaction from Brooks' camp. Wait, they don't Matt Koshal joins us live in studio now, breaking this move down for us. Matt, this about face comes as Brooks has dropped more than 40 points in recent polls. And Nicole, in a statement, Trump cited Brooks' performance in this race, poor campaign staffing, and what Trump perceived as a softening of Brooks' stance on the former president's 2020 election fraud claims. That all started at a Trump rally last year in Coleman. We were there as Brooks was booed on stage after telling the crowd it was time to move past the 2020 presidential election results. Brooks has since found himself in a primary battle with two opponents, Katie Britt, the former head of a state business group, and Mike Duran, a businessman best known as the helicopter pilot shot down and held prisoner in Somalia in 1993, depicted in that famous movie, Black Hawk Down. Congressman Brooks released a statement. In part, it reads, it's disappointing that, just like in 2017, President Trump lets Mitch McConnell manipulate him again. Every single negative TV ad against our campaign has come from McConnell and his allies. I wish President Trump wouldn't fall for McConnell's ploys, but once again, he has. Brooks went on to take a shot at Katie Britt, but didn't mention Mike Durant. I confirmed with Durant's campaign that he actually met with Trump on Monday. They wouldn't say what the two talked about, but Trump did say he expects to endorse another candidate in this race in the near future. Meanwhile, Katie Britt's campaign issued a statement saying that she would be, quote, thrilled to land the former president's support.